Hello, today I am going to show you how to set up the T-Mobile hotspot that you may have gotten through Harper College Library's technology pickup program. So the first thing you want to do when you get your hotspot is make sure you have all the pieces. So you're going to have the hotspot shell, the battery, uh, this little card that has a SIM card attached to it, and then the charging block and charging cord. So then once you have all your pieces together, you're going to want to take the hotspot and flip it over to the back where the barcode is and just there's right at the bottom, there's a little space where you can slip your nail in and pop off the back. Once you have that open, go ahead and take the SIM card and pop that out. And you're going to want to insert that into this little metal piece here. And to do that, there is a black almost rubbery piece that lifts up. Lift that up gently and then slide the SIM card into place. Once you've slid the SIM card into that little metal piece, go ahead and put the little rubber um, door back into place. Make sure that's lying flat. And then you're going to want to take the battery and insert that into the shell, like so. And then put the back piece onto the shell. Now you are ready to charge your hotspot. And I'd say give it about an hour or so to charge before you try to use it. So to charge it, what you're going to do is plug the um, charging block into an outlet. And then at the end of the cord is the micro USB. You're going to plug that into the bottom of the um, hotspot like that and then let that charge. And then once that's charged, you can unplug it or leave it plugged in if you like. It doesn't matter, but you're going to hold down the um, power button for a couple seconds and you should get a welcome light up screen on the LCD like so. Give it a few moments. It might um, need some time to switch from the welcome screen to where we need to go. It might say initializing. Let's see here. Your very first time using it, it does take a little while to come up. Like right now, it shows a message that says, please wait. So we're just going to give it a moment. And then after that, it'll say, press the power button for the menu. So that power button, it'll light up in green here. I don't know if you can see that. Give it a minute. There we go. And you press that, and the LCD screen may take you to a screen that says, cycle ends October 16th. Go ahead and disregard that. The data plan that we have for these hotspots is completely different, so it does not apply, but it will still show, but you can just ignore it, nothing to worry about. So go ahead and hit that power button again, and it will show you the Wi-Fi network name that you're going to look for. So this one shows Franklin T9-4403. So what you're going to do, and this will be different on every device, um, I have a MacBook Air that I'm using, so I'll show you how to do that on my device. Let me share my screen with you here. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is find your Wi-Fi settings. So I have a little Wi-Fi network image up here that I've clicked on. And then it's going to show you all the different Wi-Fi networks you can connect to. So you want to look for that um, Wi-Fi name that showed up on your T-Mobile hotspot. So this one had the Franklin T9-4403. So then once you find that, you will click on it. And then you, it'll ask you for a password. Now to get the password, what you're going to want to do is hit... Let me just stop sharing my screen real quick. You're going to want to hit that um, power button again. So you hit it twice to get to the Wi-Fi network name. And then a third time, it'll tell you the password. And you're just going to type that in, hit join, and give it a few minutes, and it should connect you to the hotspot Wi-Fi. And then you're good to go. 
enjoy your hot spot.